Hello, I'm Bobby from Decoding, and today I'm going to show you how to use ReCapture in a Django project. So, this here is the project that is on GitHub. I will leave the a link to the GitHub repository in the description. Um, but what we're going to do here is we are going to submit a contact form on the app. Bobby Stearman 07 whatever probably at digcoding.com so imagine this is your contact form on your website suddenly click contact us your message we've received will be in touch with you soon so that's worked well and we've got Re recapture incorporated and um, so recapture is essentially is a piece of soft software it's a product by google and what it does is it stops malicious um, software from interacting with your website whilst allowing real people to do what they want to do like send contact requests um, sign up to uh, newsletters and things like that so like I say it's a Google product you can find it at google.com slash recapture slash about and this is the web this is the page that you will get to see in this um, tutorial we're going through version 3 admin console so what you need to do you need to click on that uh, and then what you need to do is you need to uh, create a site. I've got two already. The one we're looking at here is dev, so it's my development site. So if we click in that, click in settings. And once you've set it up, which will take a few seconds, you then get some keys. So you've got a site key and you've got a secret key. Now you'll need those for the project, which is here. So go to GitHub. Go to GitHub as a README file. The README file tells you to uh, create a directory, download the repository, create a uh, virtual environment, fire that up and install the requirements. So go ahead and do that. And then when you're done, you wanna open up the settings.py file. And this is the file here. We've imported OS because we need that for uh, static files as normal. We've got a main app, uh, just a standard, um, database change the language code to GB we've got static files here so static does static root then we've got in debug you've got the recaptured public key and the private key which are the ones we just got from Google so that's all of the configuration you need and by then you should be able to make migrations migrate and then run a server uh, you won't need to change anything else but we'll go through the project anyway so we've got in the models here in the main app We've got a contact model. So every time somebody makes a contact request on this app, it adds an object. And in this case, we have the telephone, the email, the message. And in this case, we've got a recapture score or a recapture score. Uh, in the views, all we've got is a contact view and we've got a model form. So the model form is capturing the name, the telephone, the email, and the message. And then we've got a token hidden form here for recapture. And, uh, and that's all that that is doing. It's a model form. We're pulling that through to the views. If the data that comes through is valid, then then we what we do is we call a mixing called recapture validation. So we go to our mixing.py. We've got it here. So there's a, a little bit of it's requests that we're using actually. I think requests is it. Yeah, here we go. So we've pip installed requests. You will have that when you do the requirements. And uh, what we're doing is we're making a call to google.com recapture and we're sending our private key and a response token from the HTML front end. And that sends a JSON response. If we've got a success from the JSON response, we save the contact form. At that point, we save it. It creates an object in the contact model and it adds the score. So we have just done that, haven't we? We've just created a contact uh, request so if I now put um, admin, uh, I'll sign in. You will need to do this. You will need to create a super user. There we go. And we've got a contacts objects here. And you'll see we've got Bobby Stearman. That was a dodgy telephone number that I put in there. And there's a load of gobbledygook in terms of the message. Uh, but the recapture score was point, uh, point 0.9. So it scored the the... Form submission is scored from zero to 10, from zero to one. So 0.1 is, or 0.0 .0 is, is the lowest and 1.0 is the highest. Because I'm a real person and I was um, 
interacting with the form in a real way. I'm not a bot. There were certainly no flags that I was a bot anyway. A recapture is scored at 0.9 and it saved that object. That's all that this project is doing. But the beauty of that is I hope that you can see that um, if you, let's go back to the main page. By incorporating recapture into your web app um, and capturing things like contact details, by looking at the score, you can, if it is a contact request or a sales inquiry, you can then focus your sales efforts on, on those inquiries or those objects that have got the highest score, which means it is probably a very, very real sales inquiry. So it's quite powerful stuff, really. Like I say, it's, it's a Google product. If you want to read a little bit more about it, then please do. It's, I'll, I'll put the link in the description of the video. But that is it. That is this project. Um, if you like the video, please subscribe and like, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Thank you very much.